What's up everybody? Tindo here. Look, there's Hannah Warrior Princess. Check this out. We're starting off today at Goodwill. We're pretty tired from the last couple days worth of events, so we're going to get some easy leisurely thrifting done today. So stick around. Purple tags are half off, so I'm at least gonna get this. I'm trying to find a couple more purple tags would be worth getting, but anything that's halfway decent here is missing its disc. These are cute. Look at these little babies, the little gold ears. I mean, they're definitely not old, and they are from Target, so. No, but they're really cute. I like them a lot. It's been a good couple weeks for lightsabers. I sell those just as soon as I put them in my toy booth, so good one. Kind of obsessed with old decanters right now. I had a friend that I saw on Instagram filled a bunch of her grandfather's decanters with like water and put some food coloring in it, so she's got like a rainbow wall of decanters. It looks so beautiful, so one day I might do that. Um, and it makes me want to pick them up, but I don't think that I'm going to right now because I don't think enough people are going to want them. So. They're on my radar though. I bought one of these a couple days ago, put it in my toy booth, and I'm pretty sure it already sold, so that's another safe buy. Well, that's kind of cute. A little bunny rabbit on top. He's cute. It's a little dish. It's a little expensive for me, but I like it. There is a $1.49 aftermarket PlayStation memory card here. I guess that I'll get that because <laughs> it's only $1.49. Why not? Okay, my day is made. Look at this! Look at this little Pyrex! And it's $2.49! Yay! I'm so excited! It's got the lid on it and everything! <sighs> Good day! A little bit of Tupperware here. Some like little sets going on. It's about $2 a piece for everything that I see and that's like fine but it's not great so I'm probably not gonna get any of it which is a bummer there's a bunch of these like super seal things here they look like Tupperware but they're not and there's a full like canister set these three here they're all super seal they say made in USA so they're probably old but um not Tupperware, so don't care. <laughs> She's coming at me with a lightsaber. <laughs> Hannah Jedi Princess. <laughs> you keep looking like you're about to whack me with it. <laughs> I am. <laughs> All right, I finally wrestled the lightsaber from her. My life is no longer in danger, but we are in another Goodwill, so who knows what she'll find in here to kill me with. Also, just so you know, she quoted SpongeBob the entire way here, so there's that. Well, hello. Why are you in the candles? Oh, it's heavy. <gasps> That's a good sign. It's $10. Okay. Please be something in here. <gasps> Please be another one. Okay. It's fine. Two is better than none. So, we're gonna get it. Mm. <laughs> hey. That's very specific. A couple of pretty good Nerf finds here for the price, $249, missing a barrel. But honestly, I think that barrel is probably the one that's supposed to go on it, but $349, gonna get that stuff. I've also found, what's his name's hook? Forget his name, from Moana. And then this little baggie has some puppets in it that uh, I actually have a need for, so kind of random, but finding some stuff, not a lot, but some. What is this? 
That's weird. Check out this gourd candle. That's strange. Here's a roller coaster ride for you. There's a specific bunch of uh, Super Soaker water gun stuff, really modern stuff that I've been wanting to get. And uh, this is certainly one of them. But then I saw, oh my gosh, it's missing its cap. Bummer. But then I saw over here, it's actually here, just someone got into it. So I'll be getting that for $1.49. There's a Lego box over here, but I'm pretty sure it's missing. It's, yep, it's missing these. Uh, remember that here when I was here last week. It's actually a really pretty cutting board. I wish it wasn't so scuffed up. It's really nice. I like cutting boards that have like a little bit of like mix match wood. I think it's really nice. You know, someone put a lot of effort into it. I don't know just yet, but I'm thinking this might be something Hannah needs to sell in her booth. Kind of looks like the thing that would fit in in our antique shop. Let's see what she thinks. I got really excited about this cast iron pot. Um, it's really interesting. I've never really seen one specifically like this. It's got handles on the side. It's definitely not old, but it's kind of a cool concept. But I'm glad someone ripped this tape open so that I could lick under the lid. What is that? Ew, not something I want to clean off, that's for sure. Oh. Check this weird clock out. What is it? How much is it? Tell. It's a big metal box. 749. But the inside is like a some sort of storage. What is it? It's me. How'd, how'd they get me so right? I feel like I've seen one of these before. It's a little Skylanders controller for people with baby hands. I don't don't really need that, but interesting. Let's well, stop was really interesting because, well, I got a bunch of Nerf guns, a bunch of random stuff for our booth that we're just gonna try out, but then, here, hold this real quick. Let's talk about this thing before we go. What is it? Where did it come from? Why does it exist? Hannah says it kind of looks like a keyhole to her that she thinks we should make like a, uh, what do you call it? A Kingdom Hearts something or other out of it. And that's an interesting option, I guess. But I guess comment below and tell me what you think I could make this into. Do some sort of paint job on it or I don't know, maybe even like some sort of put a uh, um, piece of acrylic here and light it up from the inside. I don't know. But it's like a, just a perfect yellow uh, canvas to do something with. I like it. I, I just had to have it because it was yellow. I might actually turn it into something really cool, maybe Kingdom Hearts related, something video game related, and then permanently attach it to the top of my shelves, either in the game room or one of my booths. Maybe this doesn't need to be for resale. Just a conversation piece, you know what I mean? Or I could put like a Tindo's Trash logo on here that lights up and then put it at the top of the shelf in one of my toy booths. I don't know, but I like it. Come on, Reptar. We're going to another Goodwill. Haven't been here in a few weeks, so fingers crossed this goes all right. Those first two stops are stops we go to sometimes a couple times a week because they're close-ish to home and they're really, really good. Uh, this one, I don't have such good feelings about. I don't ever just leave here with big scores, but it's still worth going to every couple of weeks. So let's check it out. This is really beautiful. It's a shame vintage jewelry boxes really aren't worth much. This one's got a lot of nice little details on it. It's really pretty. Hmm. There are a couple games over there. I don't know if I have them or not, but I'm going to look. Driver San Francisco, dope. And then Star Wars Jedi, Starfighter. I'm pretty sure I have that, but I, I don't know. we got to look it up. Uh, there's a lot going on nerf wise. 749. That's ah, a little high. A little more than I want to spend. That's a pretty good gun there. Um, I'd like to have more of it though. Let's keep looking around. There are an absolute ton of stamps here. It's just very interesting. I mean, I know scrapbooking has a lot of stamps, but they usually don't look like that, at least not that I've seen. It's just kind of surprising to see that many of them. Not a lot going on at this Goodwill, really, but I'll pay $1.49 for that. This caught my eye. I thought it might be mid-century modern, but it just isn't. There's no way it was that. It, this is that old. You can kind of tell the 
plug in and the light sockets are just way too new. I thought about it pretty hard. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get this gun uh, on its own. It's not really gonna sell for a lot. If you had it complete, it sells pretty well and the parts that go with it aren't something I find a lot of, but I don't know. I guess I'll get it just in case I do find the parts next time. For guns that are harder to piece together, I do like to have at least one laying around so when the time comes, it's not hard to do. Because uh, this is not a terribly common gun. And it's heavy. It's very heavy. It's way heavier than it looks, but it's because it's got a lot of batteries in it. There's some interesting inbox Barbies here. We have a daytime drama collection. All my children, Erica Kane, in her wedding dress. That means nothing to me. I never watched all my children. This Yuletide Romance Barbie from the 90s. I think 94 is what it said. She's a, she's very dapper. And then this one, another Erica Kane. It's always a good day when I'm able to bring home a Star Wars game that I don't have. Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. It's got Mace Windu on the front. Let's go. You into it? Yeah. Are you going to kill me with that gun? Yeah. Did you just high five my video game? Oh my God. It's that time of week that we need some groceries. So we are going to the lemonade store. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is, but just about everywhere I've went in the last week has been completely out of wireless Xbox controllers. They have the wired ones, but everywhere I go, they're out. I guess I'm going to have to order one. I'm not dying need for one. I've got wired controllers, but you know, wireless is better. This is all that matters right here. That is all that matters. All right, groceries acquired now. Let's get home. Let's just go home. All right, we're back home. Today was a pretty simple day. We only went to you know, three thrift stores instead of 27 like we often do. You know, yesterday's video was like an hour long, so Maybe today's, actually I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Anytime I try to guess, I'm way off. So maybe this was a 30, 20, 25 minute, uh, who knows. But let's jump into talking about all this stuff we got. Some of this stuff I find really intriguing. Some of this stuff looks really random. If you're new to this channel, uh, you've only been here for a day or two. We resell things at antique booths, antique malls all around town, flea market type stores. And uh, that's what some of this nonsense is for. This is not eBay sales, okay? <laughs> this stuff's not going to sell on eBay, but we will sell it really well uh, at our booths. Come back tomorrow. We should be going tomorrow. We, we took a, what, it's been four or five days, maybe a week almost, since we've been to one of our flea markets on the channel. We just kind of got them stocked up well before the weekend and then took a little bit of a break. But we've got a whole room full of stuff, a couple rooms over to take to restock and all this stuff. I think everything we bought today, except for a couple of my video games, is stuff that we will be uh, taking to restock. I got a few video games today, one that I'm actually excited about, so we'll save those for last. In the meantime, let's talk about the nonsense. I, uh, I spotted this in a Goodwill, and unfortunately, I think it's quite ridiculous, but it's the exact kind of thing that's gonna sell in these antique malls, so. 100%. Yeah. I enjoy that they labeled it Halloween, though. It wrong, really? Was that in the Halloween section? I didn't even notice. I it I see that now. I like the big wooden chain. Yeah. For some reason, seems very ominous. It's very shabby chic. Yeah. It'll work. All right. What else did you get? I got a little dish, and I've been making candles out of vintage dishes, just as like a little project thing to throw in my booths. Um, and this I thought would be a really cute one. This is like, I think made in India, and it's got like a little elephant, and there's like little lions and such all around. It's just pretty. Very nice. Well, double Tupperware. Very excited about this. These Tupperware canisters have a little bit of value to them, especially when you get full sets. This one's not a full set. It's a... About half. It's a half set, but I'm always happy to get two for one. So, very excited about this piece. I got a uh, lightsaber. Every time I put this exact lightsaber in our booth across town, it sells immediately, almost the day of. So I wish I could find more. I wish, you know, hindsight is always 2020. And I, there's so many things that I used to see at our thrift stores here just on a daily basis. You could have bought a hundred of those some days. <laughs> and now I can get $25, $30 out of them just uh, every day of the week. So. You know, it's weird, but it is what it is. Um, let's see. I want to talk about this big monstrosity. It was seven dollars, and I couldn't leave it. I mean, it just matches this game room so well. I think, I think I'm probably just gonna keep it. 
and keep it on top of my yellow shelves. I, I already have been trying to clear the top of my shelves out. I have video games on all my shelves and I kind of just had this wild idea to just put yellow stuff on top of them. I know it's weird, but it's your boy. And so like rubber ducks, whatever this is, just putting yellow stuff up there. Why are you laughing at me? You just, you're funny. I know, I just. You should put that on top of it. Yes. <laughs> I will keep this. This is now mine. What is that? It is a Pyrex refrigerator dish. And I picked up one of these before for the same price that was in worse condition and sold it pretty quickly. And it didn't have the lid. This one actually has the lid. And the lids are adorable and I'm very excited about it. So this is potentially my find of the day. Yeah, it's definitely my find of the day. Well, you guys comment below if you've ever seen this. Like, is this at Hobby Lobby? Where did I not see this out? And why? It has to be something specific. I'm not, you know, I it's just. It's very specific. It's very specific. And it just was too yellow not to buy. I have a problem. Uh, more Thomas the Tank stuff to go on my Thomas the Tank, Thomas the Tank display at one of my booths. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was cheap. And this is like, we have all the elaborate stuff. You know, you can go build a 100 mile track with the stuff that we sell. Uh, but if you want to take home your own self contained track, you'll be buying one of these. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, what else did you get? Anything or was that all your stuff? That was all my stuff. All right, well, I also bought a little baggie of toys just because of a very specific uh, stuffed animal that's in here to go with another set. Um, a Pokemon tin. I don't buy a lot of these. I only do when they're cheap because it has a dollar on it and I can put some other Pokemon stuff in it and sell it at my booth. Uh, I've been buying more and more lunch boxes lately. Not really something I ever thought I'd get into. Um, Maui. I couldn't think of his name earlier in the video, but his hook, um, it's just the exact kind of Disney thing that we sell a lot of. And the lady that runs one of our toy booths has been telling us that, I think it's the weekend after next, there's yeah. a big kids day at our, it's the entire antique, antique booth and they like have Wonder Woman and Spider-Man coming dressed up to take pictures with the kids. And she's just been bugging us saying, get your booth filled up with, with the right stuff you'll sell out everything that day. So I kind of feel like if there's kids coming to see superheroes, that's the kind of thing they're gonna want. That's really cute. I think it's a cool little, it's a cool little thing. Someone really likes Moana. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's exactly the size of your neck, if you were wondering. All right, I did buy some video games. Um, one for resale, just cause it was half off, so it was only a couple bucks. So I'll put that in my booth. And then Driver, I never knew there was a Driver San Francisco. It's on the Wii. And then this I'm really excited about. Matter of fact, I think I'll actually probably play this tonight because Hannah asked what I wanted to do today once we got this video out of the way and I said, let's go home and play video games. I think I found something for us to play. It is Star Wars Jedi Starfighter and I love adding any Star Wars game to my collection that I didn't already have. I did not have this. And I do like flying games, so this looks like it'll be fun. So is it like a game that you just got your own spaceship and you gotta just pew 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 pew? Exactly. Sweet. That's exact. That's a perfect description. Um, that's it, guys. That's all that we got. Pretty simple day. The other thing I bought today that was worthwhile was Ye Old Lemonade. On yesterday's episode, we went to our favorite pizza place and we ordered the large so we could take some home. And uh, so I'm about to wrap this video up. Have some lemonade and have some leftover pizza. Sounds like a good day for you. Are you as excited about it as I am? Lemonade, leftover pizza, and Star Wars. You know what I could do? What? I could put the second little TV in there and actually watch Star Wars while I play Star Wars. It's going to be a perfect night. <laughs> it's going to be perfect. <laughs> and you're not going to ruin it, all right? No, nope. you would just have a, a grand old time. All right, that's it, guys. Listen, before we get out of here, comment below. What was your favorite thing that we got today? What was yours? Buttery your colored okay, yeah. dish. Well, I'm tied between this and my weird giant yellow clock. I'm hoping one of you guys watching knows what it is, because I don't. It's a yellow kind of day. Is it supposed to be a keyhole? I just, the thing that throws me off is that it's also like a storage container. I think it's perfect. You should put Sora well, in the well, face look, of it. We match. <laughs> we both bought yellow stuff. Maybe that'll be the title of the video. <laughs> All right, comment below what's your favorite thing, and also before you go, do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Uh, check out our community Discord. Come over there and chat with us. It's the public forum that we keep and that we control so that you can come and show your thrifted stuff, your stuff from yard sales, the stuff you collect. We even have a movie section over there. So if we've got anybody watching that's movie buff, come check us out. Come talk to us about what movies you're watching. Uh, also, before you go, check out our merch store, TinnosTrash.com. We just sent out a bunch of Game Boy display stands that we make ourselves. 
So go check that out. And then also before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're already almost at 3,100. That's another 100 a day later after hitting 3,000. And I love it. I almost love love the rate of increase we're going through as much as I love this lemonade. Hmm. Highly unlikely, but... I do, I do like this lemonade. <laughs> Market side lemonade. Just because I know one of you is going to ask. Listen. We do post daily videos here on the channel, so make sure that you come back tomorrow and check out what we're doing. Come check out our thrifting tomorrow. We're hoping to go to the bins tomorrow. No promises, but we're definitely going back to the bins a bunch in the next couple of weeks to restock on our clothing that we resell. So that'll be worth worth your time. Definitely subscribe for that so you can come back and watch us when we go to the bins. And until tomorrow, guys, peace out.